Good morning. So today is March 10th, and I think it's my 37th day since breaking the 108th, 108 day fast. I am eating some breakfast. It's around 10 o'clock almost, I think. And I made a smoothie bowl. So I made, uh, I just put um, the Wyman's wild blueberries in there with banana, that's it. And then I put some frozen blueberries on top, some banana and some hemp hearts. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna eat today. I feel like I wanna eat a little bit more fruit this morning. So I'm gonna eat more fruit. And then I also have a ratatouille that I made before, so I'm letting it thaw and we'll see how I feel about that. I actually even finished the dinner that I made last night with the steamed veggies. It was a little bit too much, so I had about two cups left over. I probably ate maybe like two or three cups of it. Cause I ate, well actually I ate, I ate like half, maybe a little bit more than half, but it was just a little really filling, so I didn't finish it. And I also have some durian, so I have a lot of fruit to keep me uh, energized today. Okay, uh, I just finished Shana Virtue's HIIT workout. Oh my gosh, it's so difficult for me. I'm working on getting those ab muscles. We're working on that, working on my abs. Anyway, uh, I usually do it before I eat anything, but today we kind of woke up a little bit later. Andrew had to be at work. Andrew didn't have to be at work till 11, so we had kind of a, a slow, lazy-ish morning. Like, we didn't wake up quite as early as we usually do, and so I just took the time to just like relax a little bit. And so I actually made that ban uh, banana blueberry smoothie bowl before I did my workout, and I was like, oh man, I kind of wish I did my workout first. But it's okay, because I did that, then I kind of had a relaxing morning. I watched some TV that I wanted to watch, and then I also stuffed some papers in like these plastic thingies. So we st I stuffed that, because Andrew had been wanting to do that for a long time, and I was like, well, I'm watching TV, I may as well do something while I'm doing it. While I'm watching, I, that doesn't take, you know, a lot of effort. So I did that, and then I was like, let me do this workout, that way I can get it with, over. that way I can do it and be done with it, so I don't have to sit here and be like, oh, I gotta do my workout, oh, I gotta do my workout, uh, you know? So anyway, I did that, and now I, I'm gonna, I think, put my ratatouille that I made in the oven so that it's warm. Cause I think I'm, I'm getting kind of hungry, so I wanna eat that for lunch today. And I think in the meantime, I'm just gonna kind of relax. I wanna work on this meal plan for my mom, but I'm not quite ready mentally in the headspace yet for that. So I don't know, I've been just wanting to just kind of relax a little bit and kind of vegetate and just like not be so serious and like on with everything because I'm just feeling like when I when I when I feel a little overwhelmed that's what I kind of want to do and I just am feeling like a little overwhelmed with my eating decisions and I don't think that I'm eating badly necessarily but then I also think about the master fast that I just did and what you know the beliefs they have and so I'm just like having a lot of confliction within myself but I really do want to eat just vegetables that are, you know, steamed or roasted. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of struggling with that right now a little bit, which is totally fine. You know, I'm that's where I am right now, and I'm working to embrace that right now in my life. And yeah, so that's where I am. And I've been feeling good. I've been eating like the food, but then it's just like I freak out about it because I'm just like oh, is this like the right decision to make? I don't know, like I don't wanna go back to where I was. Like that's what I'm really concerned about. I don't wanna feel the way I was feeling before. And I don't necessarily think it's it's the food that makes me feel that way. I know people would disagree with me, for sure. But I think that, you know, I cleaned, I did a lot of cleaning. And you know, I wanna just experiment with my body and just see how I feel eating foods again. And I never really ate very badly, especially in the past few years. I haven't really been eating that terribly, in my humble opinion, in my opinion. You know, there's so many opinions out there, so it's a little bit difficult because, you know, people are like, oh no, raw only, or no gluten, no wheat, no this, no that. And I think the fact that I'm not eating any animal proteins or any animal products, minus honey, 
I I think that that's a really good thing and helpful to my um, health. I, it's, I think it's really he like healthy to not eat animal products. And so I actually want to finish Proteinaholic today. I'm almost done with the book. And I want to finish that one today just to see what he says because he did do a lot of research. And I'm hoping to start either Starch Solution or How Not to Die today uh, at some point because those are two that I also want to read where they've done a lot of research about things and foods to eat and why. And so that's where I am right now. Whereas I know like you know, mucus's diet, rational fasting are really good resources and really good books. I just wanted to read what people who are currently living say about food and health and what they have researched and what the research shows. So that's where I am right now and that's what I am struggling with actually. So I thought I'd share that with you, but right now I'm going to heat up some ratatouille and just kind of relax and have like a relaxing day. And I've done some work also. I've I've been obviously filming and I contacted our uh, person on Fiverr for our logo, which we're really excited about. I'm super, super, super excited about. And then I need to start planning, or I would like to start planning for tomorrow. Andrew and I have day off tomorrow and we're planning to just work some things out and maybe plan our kitchen and also plan some things on our website and YouTube channel and Instagram. All right, so here's my lunch today. It's ratatouille, so eggplant, potatoes, yellow squash, zucchini, red pepper, tomato, red onion, garlic, herbs. I think I put rosemary, maybe some thyme, and it just has the sauce that was on there. I put a little lemon juice on everything. We have a red leaf lettuce salad with tomatoes, and then I also have some dill sauerkraut. So that's my lunch today. That That is my lunch today. It, looks really good. I already had a few little nibbles. Tastes really good. There's, I don't, there might be a little bit of salt that I had added to it, but not a lot at all. I tried some of it. It doesn't really taste very salty. It doesn't taste really like I salted it at all. So, um, yeah. I'm really, really excited to eat this meal. I'm so appreciative. I'm so blessed. And, yeah, that's what I'm going to have for my little midday lunch. It's around, I think, almost 3 o'clock. It's like 2.33. So it's been a while since I ate because the last time I ate was around 10. So then I did my workout and now I'm eating and I'm pretty sure it's like close to three almost. All right, so I finished the ratatouille. I actually ended up eating the entire container because it was so good, so delicious. Um, so I ate that with some lettuce and some sauerkraut and tomatoes and it was really, really good. But I'm having like a sweet craving really badly right now. And I really wanted chocolate, so instead I'm having durian. I don't know if you can see. So I'm having four pods of durian instead. And it's really creamy, so I'm really excited to have it because I think this is exactly kind of, that it will be what I need to satisfy that sweet need. So I'm just letting you know, four pods of that after eating the entire container of ratatouille, which was delicious, by the way.